Today we're going to do an instructional video on a windscreen. I have a zero gravity windscreen here for a 2015 Triumph Daytona 675R. I'm going to show you the basic removal of the original windscreen to put the aftermarket windscreen in. And also while I'm in there, I'm going to show you how I put the HIDs. I have HID headlights and it's real easy to put them in here. I'll go ahead and just show you so you won't do like I did. And I watched a lot of videos and couldn't figure this out. But uh, on the 2013 on up Triumph Daytona, all you have to do is undo this one hex bolt right here. Take this out and these carbon fiber inliners here pop out. And that's all you have to do. And your headlights and everything are right there. It's real short and easy and simple. You have to take anything else off. All right, let's get started on the windscreen. So we have obviously these four bolts, you got a bolt there, a bolt there, one here, one here, and you'll have two on each of the, two of the, the inside there, the rear mirrors right there, you see the bolts right there. And two bolts right here, one there and one there. So we're going to loosen all this up. And this is what your factory said it look like. You'll have these little plastic things over them right here. You just pull them down. And then just come off and expose your bolts. So we're going to make this a little fast and easy. What you're going to need is a quarter inch drive with a 10 millimeter socket and a number 26, I mean 25 Torx. And I just put mine in a drill and away we go. So all you gotta do you just go ahead and just grab your screen and just pull backwards on it. So with one hand and there it is. There's your screen. The original screen is off. And Ah, it goes right here. So we gotta put this little piece right there. That right in there. And that's what it's gonna look like when we get done. Okay, now we're ready for the screen. Get our original, get our aftermarket zero gravity screen. Anyway, once you get it all in, you make sure it's all secure and lined into place and everything. Come around this side and you make sure you sit on top of your metal. Image you want to be sandwiched into two pieces. Okay, we are, we are. I'm gonna watch a little plastic piece, make sure your little where your little bolts go through it. Okay, now there's one of the little steps I've got to do. I figured it would came with them, but it don't. Alright, we need to go back to the original shield and get the bolts, the nuts out of it. So it's got the little washers in there, but you don't have to pull it back out, you can put it while it's in there. All we're gonna do is just just twist it up on in there, and she should roll right in place. Okay. That one. The other side, do the same thing. Just take it, and you push the button right there. You can, see just, you can, look, you can see the back side of the screen. That one's got a screen on it, can you see mm -hmm. it? Okay. You can see the little piece right here, and you just take it and you roll it in here. Roll it up in place, just like that. And there she is. So when you screw it down, you have something to screw to. All right, we're all screwed in. Now we get our screws. Get your screws. We're gonna start at the top. And just hand tighten it. Just get them started. Get everything lined up. So you line should line back up for you. Okay. Get your fun bolts. Once we all the three of everything. Put it up in there. What I'll do is I'll push up on the bolt. I mean, on the nut on the back side of it, so you can grab it easier. 
you get started with your fingers before you grab with the machine because you don't want to strip your strip your nuts out because you can't just run to the parts store and get these. Imagine you can probably just get a little nut or something, but you know, you only have that little rubber rubber washing on it and stuff. Sometimes they don't line up 100% right when you go together with it. It's better to do this by hand. Unless you grab, you can fix it. Because if you can do it with the machine and you strip it, it's screwed. All right, man. So there we are. We're we're in. So now we do get our drill. And I should have it set on about 25. 25, impact on 25. Yeah. Of course, I don't know what size here. Yeah, it's good, it's snug enough. You don't have to hit the breaker at all, but 25 is good to just stick it out. There's that. I right, just got our 10 millimeter ratchet back. We loosened up our, we loosened up our mirrors on the sides and tighten them back up and then squeeze it all back in. And then we set up with the new screen. And this is a 2015 Triumph Daytona. I have roughly 2,100 miles on it so far. She is almost in her second breaking stage. This is the Reinstall your little safety clips. Get all nice and pretty back on there. And you look back, back factory. It just helps keep the dirt and the crust off of it. Keeps them looking pretty. Stock looking. You don't have to put them on if you don't, if you don't want to. But you know how it is until you get that first crash. You're going to do everything you can to baby here. Once you get the first crash, it's over with. Take her sticker off. And there she is. Zero gravity. Mr. Corporosa.